Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. At 40, Governor-elect Ron DeSantis is the youngest man to take the oath of office since Park Trammell did it at 36. He became governor in 1913, seven years before women got the right to vote. It's great to be here. His children, Madison 2 and Mason Not Quite 1, will also be the youngest children to live in the governor's mansion since Claude Kirk brought home his son Eric in 1970. DeSantis signed this oath of office on December 12th, which means he'll become governor at midnight. The oath he'll take here at noon Tuesday is ceremonial. Amid tight security at a thought leader's luncheon, DeSantis says he'll travel Wednesday to appoint the first of three Supreme Court justices. The judiciary constantly usurping more and more legislative power over the years. Um, well, that ends tomorrow, uh, and we will fix that. <laughs> DeSantis also says he'll review 70 lame duck appointments made by outgoing Governor Rick Scott and that he could suspend some local officials like Broward Sheriff plus others by the end of the week. We'll definitely have some, uh, some, some actions on a number of different fronts. I think you may be surprised at some of the fronts that we're looking at right now in that respect. Thank you guys, appreciate it, thank you. DeSantis was nonspecific on whether he'll stop the state's appeals fighting expanded medical marijuana, but he made it clear he won't stand in the way of the will of voters. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.